The website C4ISRnet reported that the German radar maker Henseld has claimed that it managed to track two American-made F-35 stealth fighter jets from a pony farm for almost 100 miles or around 150 kilometers during an air show. The Henseld passive radar system TwinViz accomplished this during Berlin Air Show in late 2018. Reports indicate that TwinViz radar system is equipped with sophisticated sensors and processors and is capable of bypassing the F-35 stealth technology. Though it's not fully clear the exact method used by the radar, some details indicate that it can observe electromagnetic emissions in the atmosphere to detect the stealth jets. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how German-made radar managed to detect F-35 fifth-generation stealth fighter. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, which is a single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multi-role fighter, is undergoing final development and testing by the United States. The Pentagon began the F-35 program in 2001 with an aim to develop a cost-effective replacement for the U.S. military's F-15 fighters, F-16 and F-18 fighter bombers and reconnaissance aircraft, and A-10 close-in support warplanes. The F-35 has three main models. The conventional takeoff and landing F-35A CTOL, the short takeoff and vertical landing F-35B STOVL, and the catapult assisted takeoff but arrested recovery carrier based F-35C Kettlebar. Apart from the United States, the primary customer and financial backer, the United Kingdom, Italy, the Netherlands, Canada, Turkey, Australia, Norway and Denmark are also part of the program. Many other nations like Japan and Israel are also deploying the fighters. The nine major partner nations, including the US, plan to acquire over 2,000 F-35s through 2035, which if delivered will make the F-35 one of the most numerous jet fighters. On the 2nd of August 2016, the US Air Force declared its first squadron of F-35A fighters combat ready. The fighter aircraft are expected to remain in service until 2050. The program has been struggling with cost overruns and technical issues, but it now seems to have slowly matured and in a recent deal, the unit price of the F-35A moved below $80 million. The unique selling point of F-35 is its stealth characteristics. F-35 has the lowest radar cross-section RCS, of all the jets except the F-22 Raptor. Against X-band radars, it's stealthy from the front and rear. Against S-band radar, it's stealthy from the narrow front aspect. Against L-band radar, the limited reduction is achieved from direct front. Classified techniques have also been used to reduce the heat signature of F-35. This thermal profile management of the jet makes it difficult for infrared IR homing missiles to target it. All in all, it is a very low observable LO platform, and this gives it the ability to penetrate even heavily defended enemy airspace. As per reports, the incident is related to two F 35 planes that were sent to Germany from Luke Air Force Base in Arizona for the Berlin event. It's important to note that the F-35s didn't take to the skies during the event and Hensel was not able to try its radar on the jets. But the company didn't lose heart and waited for the jets to take to the sky. Its waiting game paid off as it got information that F-35s were preparing to leave for the US from Germany. 
Hensold activated the TwinViz radar system located at a nearby pony farm. Later on, it was revealed that the TwinViz was able to detect the F-35s up to 100 miles or around 150 kilometers from the base. Lockheed Martin, which is the designer of the jet, was questioned in this regard. The corporation spokesman, Michael Friedman, wrote in a statement to Defense News that when the F-35 is not flying operational missions that require stealth, for example at air shows, ferry flights or training, they ensure air traffic controllers and others are able to track their flight to manage airspace safety. He added, the Air Force can best address questions related to their F-35's participation at the Berlin Air Show. The assertion indicates the potential circumstances in which the F-35s were detected. It seems that the F-35s were not in stealth mode and had its radar reflectors turned on. Radar reflectors are used to make the LO low observable, aircraft visible to radars and generally used when the stealth jets participate in events like air shows. They are activated so that ATC air traffic control, can track and guide them. Another reason for using the reflectors is that the actual radar returns of the jet are camouflaged and the observing sensors like the ones deployed by Henselt can't gather actual data. This is aimed at keeping the radar profile of the jet a secret. As far as this incident is concerned, it seemed that TwinViz passive radar was able to detect the F-35s as it was allowed to. It's important to note that Henselt had earlier stated that the TwinViz passive radar works even if the radar reflectors are not turned on, although there's no way to independently validate that claim. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.